So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I have had issues with my noisy upstairs neighbors. They were noisy, inconsiderate. They tried to gaslight me into making me think that I was the problem neighbor. And you know, when I even spoke with them nicely about it, they threatened to call the cops on me. I was cursed out. One of them said that I cornered her, you know, to try to make it seem like I had been some sort of threat. It's all good. It's all good because a solution came my way. I found another apartment within the complex and actually the type of apartment that I wanted and I moved the fuck away from them. My new apartment is an upstairs unit, so there's nobody above me stomping. I do have neighbors on both sides. Well, neighbors all around me, of course. So far, so good. Uh, nobody seems to be extra noisy. My next door neighbor has dogs. And it's amusing because when they leave, I guess to like go to work or do whatever, the dogs will howl. Makes me think of my homegirl Mermaid Zombie. She has a, a husky and I think that they have huskies. I'm not sure, I think they have huskies though. It just makes me think about the behavior, like how huskies behave based on what I've seen on social media and stuff. How they're just super like dramatic, they're drama queens and they do shit like that. The howling is not bothersome it's more amusing than anything else but yeah you know that's that's just funny to me in any case only been in the new apartment for a few days but i do dig it different part of the complex it's quieter like i said this is like the the style apartment that i wanted when i first looked at these apartments so i'm really happy that i got one and i'm just really fucking happy to be out from underneath those loud ass people so i guess without further ado here is a tour of my new apartment okay please forgive it's it's still messy <laughs> i tried my best to like put things where they should go where i wanted them to go but it's still a mess as you can see i still got boxes unused boxes from the move that i need to figure out what to do with i got my bar here we got the uncle nearest got the uh four roses my buddy Eli sent me this rye, which I was supposed to open on New Year's, but I didn't because New Year's sucked this year. Tito's, Suntory whiskey. But this is like the living room area. Don't make fun of my card table chair. Um, yeah, you know, just a little desk with my computer and shit. My journal. Gonna start journaling this year. Little bookcase with uh, just shit on it. Scripts and notes and everything. It's my little Hollywood illustration that my boy Chris made for me when I was leaving Brooklyn. If you haven't seen it, here it is. Oh, water. sink and microwave and fridge with my magnets I realized that I had not put my magnets up um, at the previous apartment but I did here so now it's official it's my instapot and cereal and potato chips lots of frozen foods vegetables and shit there's a lot of like chicken and fish up in here as well because I'm trying to eat healthier <laughs> And then there's also like KFC. <laughs> I also rock with Freshly. Uh, this is my last Freshly meal. I'll probably eat this tonight. Harvest Time Chicken Risotto, which is really good. I've had it before. Another bookshelf where I've just got some miscellaneous crap toys. I'm really mad. Got the Ava DuVernay Barbie and also figurines from Black Panther. When I had these shipped from New York to LA, the shipper, I don't remember if it was the post office or if it was like FedEx, but they fucking damaged my shit, so I'm pissed off. There's Andre Leon Talley's um, Chiffon Trenches, God Save the Queens, Allies and Advocates, Vanishing Half. So those are the latest book acquisitions. A little laundry room. I have laundry that I need to do, but washer and dryer, so that's good. 
got hella toilet paper. So when the pandemic first started, <laughs> I couldn't find toilet paper. So my boy Ian sent me toilet paper from Florida. And then I placed a bulk order of toilet paper with staples.com. So that's, um, I'm still working through that toilet paper <laughs> from that bulk order. Okay, across the way, here's the bedroom. There's nothing in here but the bed and the third bookcase, which whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, I try to get some exercise in sometimes. Got my little balcony here off the bedroom, which is pretty cool. Closet here. I don't know, pretty spacious closet, I guess. It's enough for me. So, I don't know, whatever. And then of course we have the bathroom. I like the shower. I like that I have this little window that looks into the shower. Nice big like sink area. What's happening? And I also have this like vanity area, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, that's it. That's, um, that's the apartment tour. It's nothing super duper fancy, but I dig it. I like it. So I've been off for work for, for a few days since before Christmas. And uh, tomorrow is the first day back to work. So just trying to get settled in, get comfortable and prepare myself mentally <laughs> to get back to work. You know, the world is still rapidly descending into hell thanks to the pandemic. And the people who decided to travel and party and do all that dumb shit during the holidays, even though they were advised and asked not to, overwhelming the hospitals and everything like that is what it is. But yeah, we are now in 2021 and I'm starting the new year off in my new apartment. I'm hoping for positive changes this year, so we'll see what happens.